It's the first weekend of November in Texas, and that means it is opening weekend for hunting season, for rifle hunting season for deer, white-tailed deer in Texas. This year, I'm doing something a little bit different. This is our 175 acre piece of land that we lease just outside of Bowie, Texas. There's no facilities here. There's no electricity run to this place. There's no running water, cable, internet, or anything like that at all. We bring in uh, generators to run our trailers. This year, I'm going to, going to be running, at least for the weekend, we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna be running everything from the EcoFlow Delta II Max battery bank with the extra battery. Now you can run two extra batteries uh, and connect it to the side over here. It's a port right there on the side where you can connect. This is the main battery bank here with the stuff there. So we're charging it up right now. We're gonna set it up here in a second and let it run all weekend. This is the first external battery. I can add a second external battery here, plug it in and get a little bit more power. The battery by itself is about 2000 watt hours and then 2048 I think is what it is. Adding the second battery gives you about 4,000 watt hours, and when you add the third battery, it gives you about 6,000 watt hours. So we've only got the one battery today, but for the entire weekend, today's Friday, I'm gonna actually be here through Wednesday. So this will be like a five day test. We're gonna look and see how well it goes. So check this out. Set this up yesterday morning. This is a 250 watt solar panel. And I bought these a couple of years ago and they were seconds. I think I got these for like 55 or $60 each. I've got eight of them. <laughs> so I got 2000 watts that I could put them all together if I wanted to. But we just got one here today. This is 250 watt solar panel and the Delta Max. Now that's been running for about at the time of this recording here, not quite 24 hours. And right now you can see it's got 32% left in the top battery and it's got 44% left in the bottom battery. And it does a pretty good job of load balancing between these two. But you can see right there, it's bringing in 89, 90 watts of solar input. That's the top number on the top right. And then there's no solar input coming down there. This top battery keeps the bottom one charged. Earlier I was getting, when the sun was not behind that tree right there, I was getting about 190 watts with it just leaned up against the gazelle gazebo that's right there. So I thought that was pretty good for just kind of leaning it up there. It's got the MC4 connectors on the back of it, bringing it in. So this is helping to keep the battery charged. Now, once I get down to a certain level, then I will run the generator there and I'll charge the battery back up. But the test this weekend or for the next uh, four or five days will be to see how long that uh, battery system with about 4,000 watt hours runs this camper right here. Now this is the camper that's given me all the fits and troubles. And if you haven't seen those videos on the channel, I will link those somewhere in here. This is great because it will run, that battery will run everything in this camper, except for the air conditioner, which it was 53 degrees outside this morning. It's probably in the low 70s right now. So it's not hot, so I don't need to run the, uh, the air conditioner. And it may or may not run the microwave. I think I'll do a test on that maybe tomorrow and see. The heater in this trailer is propane. The water heater is propane. The heater that, or the fan for the heater runs on electricity or, to, or is actually 12 volts. And I've got uh, the battery on the front of the trailer. Then the fridge is 12 volts. And of course, all these lights up here are also 12 volts so it doesn't really have that much to run which i thought would be an, an excellent opportunity to see how long it would run on battery power only so we've been on battery power right now for like i said just under maybe 20 hours maybe about 20 hours i got here early yesterday morning and set up everything we turned everything and i was running on the trailer battery for a while and then once i got uh, kind of all everything in camp set up here pretty much the way it is now. I switched over to the battery bank. I, I put up the Gazelle Gazebo tent. Put the uh, I set. I wanted. I didn't want to set the batteries directly on the ground. There's no floor in this. This is a gazebo, not a tent. So I grabbed one of our pallets here and put the batteries on it, just in case. It's not supposed to rain, but just in case it, it did rain, I didn't want them sitting in the dirt or in the mud or anything like that. So we got all that set up. It's been, uh, it's been like I said, probably about 20, maybe 21 hours that that battery's been running. And the biggest draw is the refrigerator. And the refrigerator's 12 volts. I turned off the battery to the trailer because the charging system in the trailer would charge my 12 volt battery that's on the front of the trailer. I'm trying to mitigate, I'm trying to be as sparing with charging as I can because I don't need that battery right now. It's running off of these external EcoFlow batteries. So we're gonna see what tomorrow and the next day look like. Put your comments and questions below. Let me know what you think about this type of setup. 
and uh, let me know what EcoFlow products you have. I will share a link in the description below the several products that we're using this weekend that you can get discounts on with certain coupon codes that change throughout the year. But check the link in the description below. Today is Monday, so I am on day four of this experiment. And I've come up with some really fun ideas about what to try next and what to incorporate in this video. So stay tuned because we're gonna be doing a couple of different things that I hadn't planned originally. So we started on Friday. Friday was day one. We got here, I got here, I left the house about 6 a.m. It's only about an hour and a half drive up here. There's some kind of cobweb on my microphone. Got here, Got did a couple things around camp, got this set up, got that set up. I pl got everything plugged up because I've got the EcoFlow batteries in the tent right there, in the gazebo right there. And I got everything plugged up and running around noon on Friday. It was a, it, it might have been a little bit before that, but it was roughly about noon time. Saturday night at midnight, we were up too late Saturday night. It's really kind of too warm for hunting season, but this is when season starts in Texas, so be it. Saturday night around midnight, I decided that I, I got tired. And I was like, you know, I should probably go get some sleep. And I looked at the EcoFlow system and it was down to about an hour left of capacity out of like 36 to 38 hours, which is what it was telling me originally. So I started the generator and went to bed. I have an electric start, a remote start on my generator. I talked about this a little bit on my live stream last night on Sunday. So I started the generator, let it run. That generator, th th these Delta II Max systems have fast charging. So I don't know how long it took exactly for it to charge because I went to bed. Uh, so I woke up around 4.30 or 5 that next, that same morning, and the generator was running, and I've got a remote start in there, so I shut it off, and I went to, back to sleep for about an hour, and I got up and went hunting. But I looked at my EcoFlow app, and it was full. So sometime in those five hours, it filled up, and then it ran on generator power. And then yesterday, I ran the generator for an hour or two again to charge up some other devices, which also, because I've got the EcoFlow uh, Delta II Max systems plugged into it, and it charged that back up to full. So at this point in time, it's about, I think it's about 10 a.m. right now. At this point in time, it's been running about 22 hours, and it shows anywhere from uh, 18 to 30 hours left, depending on when the refrigerator's running. When the refrigerator and the trailer kicks in, that is when the time comes down. So it gives you a constant time about saying, if you run at this constant draw, it's gonna the battery's gonna last this much longer, but that changes all the time. You turn on lights, the refrigerator kicks off and on. If the fan that runs the heater kicks off and on, that's gonna affect it, everything affects it. You plug your phone in, everything. So as far as I can tell, we can run for about 36 hours, 35, 36 hours before these battery systems die in the current climate. Now, since it's been so hot out here, unusually hot for November, it's not unusual, Texas is weird. Sometimes it's 80, sometimes it's 25. But we've been in the 60s, 60, mid 60s to mid 70s in the afternoons uh, ever since I got here. E every day, this is day four. It is gonna be hotter tomorrow than it has been the whole trip. But it's been in the uh, mid to high 50s in the morning and the uh, 60s to 70s in the, in the afternoon. That makes the refrigerator run more often because it's hotter inside the camper. I don't have my air conditioner running. I've got the vents open. I've got a couple of windows open. It's pleasant in there, but it's not 25 or 35 degrees outside, which is where the, the refrigerator wouldn't run nearly as often if the, if the ambient temperature outside wasn't as high. So in these current climate conditions, it's gonna run for about 35, 36 hours on these two battery systems. So now my goal is to get everything charged up. We're gonna, I'm gonna go home tomorrow. I either want to wire in my generator to the EcoFlow battery and have it auto start when the battery gets down to a certain voltage. But the EcoFlow system is, it, it, it's a battery power bank. So as far as the trailer knows, let me go over here and look, show you guys what I'm talking about. As far as the trailer knows, the trailer thinks I'm running on shore power. Here is what, this is the 30 amp plug that comes off of the trailer right here. And it's plugged in right here into this 110 volt AC power outlet right there. Okay, the trailer itself does not know what type of shore power it's on. It doesn't care what type of shore power it's on as long as it's providing the correct 110, 110 120 volts alternating current and enough amps to power whatever's running in there. I could be running on generator. I could go to a campsite and plug into a 30 amp breaker at a campsite. I can plug into to a power bank like this. It doesn't know. The trailer thinks it's on shore power. That's why all the plugs inside work and that's why I could run the microwave if I wanted to. And honestly, those batteries would probably run the air conditioner, but those are not 30 amp plugs. Those are 110 volt plugs on the back. The, uh, the standard wall sockets, I think they're 15 or 20 amps. So it might be too much draw for that AC to, to start up. Haven't tried it, haven't needed to. So they make some, I found some stuff online that where they make monitoring systems that will kick a generator on once your battery voltage 
gets down to like 11.8 or 11.2 volts. I don't, I think it's adjustable on some of them. Well, I don't have the trailer plugged directly into a battery and I don't have the generator plugged directly into a battery. I have both of them plugged into what they think is shore power. So what I'm actually looking for is a way to somehow remotely start the generator over Wi-Fi. Now I have Wi-Fi running because the EcoFlow stuff connects to whatever Wi-Fi network is around it. They have Wi-Fi in them. So I have the Starlink running. EcoFlow is running my Star, the Starlink's running right now. That's one of the th devices that's been running since Friday. And the EcoFlow gives Starlink power and Starlink gives the EcoFlow a Wi-Fi signal. So it's an, a symbiotic relationship at this point in time. So with the EcoFlow connected via to Wi-Fi through Starlink to the internet, I can, I, with my EcoFlow app, I can monitor that from anywhere. So when I go home tomorrow, I'm gonna make sure my batteries are topped off and I'm gonna monitor this and that's gonna be another part in the video. This has been a really fun experiment. I, I like this sort of thing. These are fun experiments to, to, to run. I wanted to see how long this battery power pack, the Delta II Max station with the extra battery would last. I'm considering getting a, third, a second battery for it. And by my calculations, it should add 15 to 18 hours to my existing capacity. When I go home tomorrow, I will be back and probably about 48 hours later. So the battery system will probably die while I'm at home because I don't have a way to remotely start my generator and charge it up right now. If I had a way to remotely start it, whether it auto started by itself or whether I could just somehow connect my generator to Wi-Fi and hit the push button because it's got push button start, I'd be able to monitor the EcoFlow app and say, oh, it's down to five hours. Let's kick the generator on for an hour or two and let it charge itself back up. But that's gonna be that's gonna be one of the next steps so more to continue tomorrow when i get home and then uh, we'll see where we go from there it's been several days since the last little bit that you saw and i'm back home now i've actually been home back to the lease and now i'm back home again and i'm about to go back to the lease so i've been back and forth a few times i came home after the last little bit of this video i came home and i was wanting to show you guys how you can use the ecoflow app to see which of your devices are online and you can monitor them remotely with the EcoFlow app. Now, obviously you have to have internet. Right now I've got about 185 watts of solar coming in. So that's helping to keep the system charged, but it's telling me that it's going to be 24 and a half hours till it's fully charged. We don't have 24 hours of daylight that's going to stay on that solar panel. So it's going to last two or three hours probably and then dwindle down after that. But I got home yesterday and I left this run. I charged it all up, left it running. From everything that I have been testing right now, it looks like this system, the way I currently have it set up, will last me about 35-ish hours. Now that's with the weather outside being cold, it, cold in the 40s. In the 40s in the mornings to the 60s in the, in, the, in the afternoon. It's not really cold, cold. But the warmer their ambient temperature is outside, the more the refrigerator is going to run. And I, as I said before, the refrigerator is the biggest draw of everything I have running right now. I also made the mistake last time. The last time I came home, I couldn't see it in the app. That's why I've waited till now to record this video because I took the Starlink down and set the dish on the, on the ground with the little tripod stand that it comes with. And I guess it was too much blocked by the tree. I didn't want to leave it up on that gigaparts mast because if a big wind came through it would blow that mast down. I've got that mast anchored to the back bumper of my of my RV. But if a big enough wind came through, it would blow it down and it would break the dish. So I was like, I'm gonna lower it down while I'm not here. And I did that and apparently it didn't get a good connection. Plus I left a light on and I left my water pump on. Now the water pump doesn't have a leak, so it never ran, but I left a couple things on that I shouldn't have last time. So this has all been a really big experiment, just about how long everything will last with the EcoFlow Delta II Max system. The main battery itself is about 2000 watt hours. The secondary battery is another 2000 and I can add a third battery for another 2000 for about uh, 6, 000, just over 6,000 watt hours total. And I figure that with 35-ish hours for the two batteries, I can add another battery and add another 16 to 18 hours with a third battery. So I'd like to do that just to kind of experiment. I also have their Delta Pro system. That's the one with the big wheel. They just sent that to me. It has wheels and a carry handle on it, like a rollerboard suitcase, so you can carry it around a little bit easier. It's made for actually home backup. You can stick it at your home and, and uh, use it there. But I really enjoyed this. This has been nice because even if I run on generator power, we had in the years, in, in the past, when we go to the hunting lease, we would fire up the generator at night, let it run all night, wake up in the morning and go out into the field to go deer hunting. And we'd turn the generator off when we did that. And then when we got back in the afternoon, we might turn it on for a few hours until the evening hunt. And when we got back from the evening hunt, we'd fire it up again and let it run all night. For, so about 12, 10 to 12, maybe 14 hours 
uh, it would run every night. So we'd have to change oil in it about, I don't know, once every uh, once every two to five days, depending on what the manufacturer specifications for the generator was. Well, now, and it runs about, it would we'd go through a five-gallon gas can in about two days. Now, I was out there, This the, when the video started, I was out there. That trip was a five-day trip, and I used about four gallons of gas total to top off the batteries and run everything on batteries. And then when the batteries got low, I'd fire the generator up. So now I don't have to buy as much gas. I don't have to put as much wear and tear on my generator and I'll have to change the oil as often. So it makes it much more convenient to run on a battery system like this. And I don't have to listen to the generator at night. As I said previously, that doesn't bother me. I kind of like the rumble noise, but some people that bothers, bothers and um, it's much quieter to run on batteries than it is to run on a generator. So what kind of experiments, I'm not done experimenting with this. We're gonna do another video soon. What kind of experiments would you like to see with the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max or the EcoFlow Delta Pro system, which I now have in my possession?